Let's make Gordon Ramsay's eggs. Are Gordon Ramsay's eggs really that good? I mean, if you look at the way he makes them, he puts 10 pounds of butter. Put a tiny knob of butter, tiny knob of butter, tiny knob of butter. He puts sour cream, you got the egg yolks, like how much fat do you need in these eggs? I like the technique that he uses, right? Crack cold eggs in a cold pan, whisk, 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 you want really small, fine curds, and you get that creamy feel. There's nothing worse than dry eggs. Dry eggs suck. But the good thing about this recipe is you have nice, moist, fluffy eggs. Now we'll make them Gordon's way and then we'll make them my way and we'll see which is better, which is actually healthier. So let's do it. All right, so the video is already taking a twist. I only have two eggs. Since I only have two eggs, we'll just make them my way, which is really the Gordon Ramsay way, but much healthier. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a pot, not a pan, right? You want a pot with a round surface and it's got to be non-stick. You're going to take both your eggs, crack them in, And again, these are cold eggs in a cold pan. Now you're not gonna season them right now, you're gonna wait until they're halfway cooked to season. Stove goes on high, you want it the highest setting you can get it. And then you got your two eggs, two eggs on the stove. Now this is another crucial part, you want a rubber spatula like this because you're gonna wanna be able to whisk really fast and scoop the edges. What you're gonna wanna do is stir these eggs, you wanna make them one homogeneous liquid. So you wanna see no yolk and no whites. You want them all mixed together. Now essentially what you're gonna do is you're just gonna whisk, 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 whisk. You don't want anything to stick. You're just gonna whisk around and keep going. And you'll see, see how it starts to smoke. That's a good thing. That means it's heating up. And then you consistently just scrape that pan, scrape that pan. Then when it starts to get too hot, the key is you just take it off. Right, take it off the heat so it doesn't overcook and then you keep stirring and keep scraping. So you see how the curds are starting to form? That's what you're looking for. And you're just gonna keep on mixing, keep on mixing, keep on mixing. Now we're back on the stove. Starting to cook pretty well. We're just about there. And realistically, you're gonna wanna take it off a little bit early because the eggs are gonna continue to cook. So when it's about this consistency, Go ahead, take it off. And now right before they're done, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab just a pinch of salt, put it in, a few swigs of pepper, and then mix that in one more time. And then this is what it should look like, right? Nice, creamy, and delicate scrambled eggs. And you're gonna scrape them. Scrape them onto a pan. You're gonna scrape them onto your plate, right? You get the same style of egg that Gordon does, right? It's this nice, creamy, fluffy egg, except you don't have the pounds of butter. You don't have the pounds of sour cream. You get the same consistency and the same exact taste. And you basically reduce the fat by who knows how much, probably 30 or 40 grams. Yeah, it's delicious. And I've made it both ways. This way is definitely healthier and it tastes the same. So if you can get the same exact result without putting 10 pounds of butter, why not just do it this way? Hmm. Yeah, super creamy, super awesome. If you like this video, subscribe for more. I'm gonna be dropping more videos. Peace.